I said, yo, I could put on a pilot suit and sit in the cockpit. He said, yeah, we'll take pictures of that too. We could probably try to use that. I was like, oh shit. All right, cool, in control, let's do it. So I sat in the feet. I borrowed somebody's gold chain, got the pilot suit on the top, sat there like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Soren Baker here on Unique Access Entertainment. As always, please hit that subscribe button. As y'all know, it's right down there and it's free. That enables us to keep coming to you guys as often as possible with as many interviews as possible, with as many icons of the game as possible. So please hit that subscribe button, like our content, share, talk about it, be about it, each one, teach one. And we appreciate you guys getting us this far. Now today, for cover story, we have the honor and the privilege of being joined by Marlon Wall. He has chosen to do In Control Volume 1, his first album, and we're going to get into this cover. So, Marley, for you, as you look back on this cover, getting ready to do an album, did you have the concept and the idea for what the album ended up, cover ended up being, or was that something that happened on the fly? No pun intended. Um, <laughs> I had no idea what, what it was going to be. Um, at that point, I wasn't really getting along with the photographer for cold chilling. Cause I was like, yo, man, everything's starting to look the same. Like me and Craig G did this, did a photo session. Next thing you know, Biz Marky and, and his DJs in the same like stuff. I'm like, come on. It's like, why are you doing the same thing for everybody? I don't want to use him. So I didn't want to use that. <laughs> you get okay. what I'm saying? When we did Drop in Science, that looks like, you know, something that he did for a biz cover. I'm like, come on, bro. Okay. Everything's starting to look the same, man. So I'm like, you know, at that point, I was um that, that my first wife, she was like the she was like the editor, the chief editor of L magazine. Hmm. Okay. Um, and she was like, you know, she's like, yo, we had a photo shoot at the at the airport because you know she she had to approve anything in the in, in L magazine. She had to go past her eyes. Yeah, use that. No, don't use that picture. Get something better. So she's like, yo. Um, we did one at a, um at an airport. It was it was nice. It was elegant. I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, good. That's I'm happy for you. Like, it's cool in your world. I'm not going. She's like, no, 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 no. She said, you're doing an album cover. I think what you should do is y'all should stand in front of a Learjet. Like y'all just coming from somewhere off tour. He said, because she said, I've never seen no rapper do that before. And she was like, yo, you, she said, um, she said, I could give you the um the airport um that we used and I could give you the, you know, the, the airplanes that we used and all that. And I was like, okay, whatever. And she set it up and, you know, and we took the first shoot, shoot out of it. It was like on the door. We was just outside standing. And the guy's like, yo, I got a um, pilot suit. You want to sit in the cockpit? I said, yo, I could put on a pilot suit and sit in the cockpit. He said, yeah, we'll take pictures of that too. We could probably try to use that. I was like, oh shit. All right, cool. In control. Let's do it. So I sat in the beat. I borrowed somebody's gold chain, got the pilot suit on the top, sat there like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> we stood outside. Everybody stood outside with the little cases. Like, we just came off tour. If you really look at it, I mean, we was balling. It's, that was a crazy picture, but that that jet is too small for all of us. <laughs> right. Yeah, no one <laughs> if, you, if you really look at it now, that like, like yo, all y'all niggas was just tucked up in there. <laughs> but, but it was super because... People, rap stars come to me today talking about, yo, man, when I saw y'all in front of that fucking jet, I was like, oh, man, I got to step my game up. These niggas jumping out of jets and we got cars? Oh, my God. So, yo, thank God that she gave me that idea. Yeah, to, that's... To just stand in front of that jet because that blew us up. Yeah, that was amazing. Now, as far as the... Before we get back to the back cover, the front cover too, do you remember why you used the one where you're holding up the one finger? Like what that was about? It was in one. Aha, I was in control of one. Because I was letting them know that two was coming soon. So I put my one finger up like this. is. One. And why, why'd you wear sunglasses? I was trying to be cool. <laughs> no, no other reason. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. 
And then on, on the back cover, since there's uh, so many people on there and they wouldn't have fit on the jet, what was the atmosphere? Because it seemed like really fun. Like everybody was just having a good time taking some flicks. Um, I don't know. It was a little, it was a, a little, it was because that's the very day we made the symphony on that photo shoot day. So we was going home to make a record after that. So I was like, Shin, meet us, we, you know, meet us, we going to the crib. Come on. And Master A's like, yo, I'll just drive somebody. I'll just come just to watch. And, you know, everybody else came. Um, Steady Pace went home. He didn't come to the studio. And, you know, we went. And then, you know, we, we sitting around waiting around and Shan not showing up. We like, all right, fuck it. I'm like, I don't care who first or who last. Somebody got to get on that. Yo, you should say that in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ace filled in the spot. Yeah, I said, "Well, Ace, get in there, get in there, and until Sh Shan come in, just get in there, fill up that spot." He's like, "Listen closely, you know." So <laughs> it sounded like he was saying it because he didn't think it was going to stay there, but it was a great intro to the to a great song. Absolutely, absolutely. And how do you think that the the cockpit photo in particular fit into the theme of what you did on the whole album of In Control Volume 1? Uh, it really didn't. <laughs> 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 I had no connection. I met, I was trying to make no connection. I just was trying to be that fly cat in a jet because it was in control. So if I'm in control, you know, cats the pilot. Can, yeah, I'm the pilot. I'm in control. I'm in control of this bitch. You get what I'm saying? So ha ha. And yeah, I start seeing other album covers with DJs trying to like trying to imitate those pictures and shit, like putting on a suit, getting close to the camera. Like, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man! It's only one in control, man. Stop that. That's when I realized too. I had, I had, I had. That made me realize that, damn, these motherfuckers are imitating me. I got imitation power. That people are starting to imitate what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I started realizing. Well, started, wait, so you noticed it more off of a photograph than off of all your music? I started noticing off of what I was doing. Everybody started trying to do that. And, you know, I started like, you know, Bobby Brown was talking about, in control, we're in control. Janet Jackson's in control. I'm like, it was like, hold up. All this in control. in control. Everybody's <laughs> in control right now. A fucking Spanish, it was a Spanish TV station had a show called In Control. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It made me realize that people are really fucking... Yeah, people will really follow like that. It's well, easy. as Shan said, I pioneered this. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now when you look back, is that those are the main legacies you see or is there anything else that really comes to mind as well for the In Control Volume 1 cover? I mean, yeah, I think it was ahead of its time basically because... That's before people had Bentleys in front of, you know, big pools, big mansions, big anything on album covers. It was, it was like a personal statement. And not only that, it was like one of the first hip hop producer compilation albums. Yeah. So to true. have all stars, you know, to have like a range of all stars on one album at that time, because everyone in their own right were almost like solo artists at that time. Yeah. So boom, that was powerful in itself. It was, you know, it was new. It was innovative at that time. Yeah. And plus, plus, you know, I saw NWA. They had like a dope picture too with like the whole crew outside. Everybody was standing all over the place and people was pointing people, oh, that's that's so-and-so. That's, I wanted people to be able to do that too off of this. To this day, nobody know who the fuck Steady Pace is on that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they will, thankfully. Yes, to this day, yo, who that? Yo, that's fucking um, who they so call him? face with the glasses on. Yeah, but they say they saying he's somebody else. <laughs> he's one of the cane dancers. No, he no, he ain't. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not scuba scrap. No. Right, 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 right. Well, there it is. Well, Marley Mall, thanks for coming through the cover story. We appreciate your time. Well, thanks for having me. We appreciate it. 
Be sure to check out the History of Gangster Rap by Soren Baker. He's official. History of Gangster Rap features exclusive interviews with Ice T, Snoop Dogg, MC Ren, the DOC, and dozens of others. The History of Gangster Rap, a definitive look at how Los Angeles changed rap forever. In Los Angeles, the streets definitely set the tone of the hip-hop music. I'm 19, I got a $50,000 car. My whole angle always was, I'll be street, but I will always tell you the horrors that go along with this life. There will be penalties and casualties for just wearing the wrong color in somebody's neighborhood. And once gangster rap made it from the streets to the TV, the genre exploded. What's that five on your TV basketball? Yo MTV it just catapulted us from being local heroes to national gangbang rappers. The history of gangster rap discusses it all from 1980 up till today. It's always gonna be shit happening in the streets. You know what I mean? So it's always going to be something to talk about. The history of gangster rap in stores now.